Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Lizzie and I am so happy to have you. And today I am bringing you all a brand new speed build. So before we get into the bulk of this video, I just want to put out a little disclaimer that this floor plan for this apartment is not my own creation, nor did it come from my own creativity. This floor plan I did copy from Sim Lissy. I saw it in one of her videos and knew that I just had to use it. So yes, before any of you think that I made this floor plan, all credit goes to her. She's amazing. I love her. If you guys have not checked out her builds, you most definitely should. So also, you guys are going to be seeing me mess around with the tool mod in a couple of different areas in this video, including right here as I'm placing these windows. And a little bit later on, you're going to see me mess around with replacing the front door to this apartment with the tool mod. If you guys couldn't tell, it has been quite some time since I have used it. And so yeah, it took me a hot second. I cut a lot of my struggling out, but your girl was struggling for real. Learning to use this mod for the first time when I did that a while ago, like a couple years ago, was very difficult for me. And so coming back, having not used it in like a year <laughs> was also a little bit difficult. And another note that I want to make on that is that when I replace the door, the main door, the front door to this apartment, you guys will, I believe, not have that when you download this build. That front door will not be there. It will be the original front door. So if you are looking to replace it or are wanting to, you know, add a different door than the one that comes with city living in this apartment, you will have to do that manually on your own with the tool mod. There is no other way to do it that I know of at least, and I am 99% sure that when you download this apartment, the door that I replaced the original door with will not be there. And that you will have to do that on your own also another important thing to remember is that in order for people to download apartments off of the gallery it is so annoying but you do have to delete a wall from every room in order to upload it to the gallery so just remember that when you download this there will be a one block of wall missing going into every room i normally try and put it where the door is going into the room so that way it can be uploaded so you will have to replace that door in the wallpaper that is on there but there was not a section of wall deleted that had any kind of object or painting or anything on it so just remember that you will have to replace that wall if you want it to function or look like a fully enclosed room um, so now getting into the household that I envisioned for this small apartment. So originally when I started this build, I was thinking it would be fun to have a interior designer living here. I really wanted to mess around with fun wallpapers and fun colors because I feel like normally when I'm making family homes or things like that, I do a lot of like dark wood tones and darker neutral colors like olive green, sage green, browns, beige, things like that. And there's normally not a lot of color unless I'm working in a kid's room or something or doing a mid-century modern build, which I haven't done in quite some time. So I really wanted to mess around with fun wallpapers and fun colors and kind of step out of my comfort zone with using lighter wood tones. And so interior designer was the way I was leaning originally because I was like, I feel like an interior designer might have a little bit more of a fun pattern filled apartment just because they would know how to make that look nice. But then as I went to building, this is a one bedroom apartment. There is a small office right next to the bedroom and so you could turn that into a bedroom of course if you wanted that. If you have a family living here, maybe they just had a kid or they only have one kid, you could obviously make that into a bedroom. But I wanted to use it as an office and I was trying to figure out how I wanted to decorate it and when I started decorating it I was thinking maybe we should do an artist instead or even a sim who maybe works in the interior designer career 
but she really her biggest dream is to be a painter a professional painter slash drawer just a famous artist um, but she doesn't feel like she can do that on her own she feels like she needs another source of income while she gets herself up and running selling her paintings and kind of getting a following so she works in the interior designer career as a way to kind of make money and still use her creativity and then in her spare time she is painting and drawing and making fun art creations and so that's kind of what I envisioned for this sim just a sim who's really artsy and creative and in that little office with the wallpaper maybe she painted that wall you know so I just really envision an artsy creative sim living here in this apartment I just thought that would be so fun and I haven't built anything like this for quite some time so yeah I was excited to try something different and again try and just kind of get out of my comfort zone with the really dark wood tones and the olive green that I use in like every single build ever so yeah that was that was super exciting and this build really inspired me I would love for my own personal save file um, and possibly when I upload it if I ever get it finished to decorate the entryway of the apartments as you can see I stuck a light out there in the kind of main lobby of the apartment again all of that has to be done with the tool mod there's no other way around it that I know of so um, I just think it would be really fun to make a video or live stream me kind of just adding in those objects around the apartments. So yeah, let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing something like that. It could be something that's done over stream if I ever find the time to do that or a video or maybe I'll just post pictures of it somewhere on my Tumblr or Instagram or something like that. But definitely let me know if you would be interested in seeing something like that as you can see now we have moved on to the kitchen I really really love this kitchen I think it's so fun with the red and the blue and I just had a lot of fun creating this kitchen the windows in here are some of my new favorite windows I they're so clean and so crisp and I love the way that there is like a middle piece so if you want to make them bigger you can or you can just use the two end pieces these windows are really creative they will obviously be included in my CC links that you'll be able to find on my patreon and so yeah I was just really excited about these windows I'd never used them before they're a new download for me so shout out to the creator for that they are amazing they worked perfectly in this apartment build and i have a feeling i'll be using them in a lot of my apartments to come but yeah i really love this kitchen i love the red wallpaper with the blue trim on the bottom and then the light blue kitchen again i just thought that it was really fun with all of the colors again i really wanted to do something different and i feel like this apartment kind of accomplished that for me so yeah that was really exciting in other news i have still not played with the love struck pack i know i know by the time you see this i should have played with it hopefully by the next speed build i'll be able to talk about it a little but this speed build i am doing the voiceover shortly after i did the voiceover for our last speed build the coastal family home i just got back from a long weekend away visiting friends at my college that I graduated from last year and I have the house to myself right now and a little bit of downtime so I wanted to try and film this a little bit early so that way I don't have to worry about it later on but yeah as you all know I have pre-recorded this video the last video and then the next video to come so Hopefully in the next video I will have a little bit of stuff to talk about with the love struck pack the most that I have seen with it so far is the Very minimally the attraction system with my star sign family when I went in to get some screenies for games uh, Akari is Extremely attracted to her husband Akito, but Akito is very much so not attracted to his wife so that is something that I'm going to have to go into cast and fix because that is absolutely not at all how he feels 
he thinks that she is the most beautiful woman in the world he's completely smitten with her and i don't want to have to deal with the messiness of him not finding her attractive so i will be going in and changing that before you know it causes any damage i don't really know how that affects their relationship or if it does i'm assuming it would in some way but yes i will in fact be <laughs> getting rid of him feeling that way and he will be extremely attracted to her but that is about as far as i have gotten um the only other thing i've really seen is the cast i haven't even seen the build and buy stuff so I really need to find time to kind of take a look at all of that, but your girl has just been so, so busy, so I haven't had a chance to yet, unfortunately. And I don't know about you guys. I don't know how the weather is in your area. I live in the Midwest, and the last week or so, the weather has been so nice. It has definitely started cooling off. We have had weather between the 60s and the 80s, and it has been just such a nice break from the super hot, sweltering weather we were getting. It has definitely put me in the mood for fall. I am so ready for warm coffee, big chunky sweaters, baggy jeans, sweatpants, sweatshirts. I'm so ready for all of it. You guys have no idea. I love fall. It's probably my favorite season. I love summer too, but whenever I get to like the end of summer, I am so ready for the changing of the leaves and the crisp fall vibe. I have been burning a fall scented candle for the last month i believe and i am just so beyond ready for fall i'm ready for red and orange trees i'm ready for that crisp cool weather windows down hot coffee i am just so ready i'm ready for scary movies <laughs> like everything fall i am so so ready for when i was up visiting my friends this past weekend we watched scream which is something that i watched with my roommates last year around this time and so we watched the first scream and i am literally just like i'm so ready for summer to be over and of course, I'm speaking about the wonderfully beautiful weather that we've had, but where I live, the <laughs> weather likes to play tricks on us. So, for example, we're getting this really nice weather this week, maybe even next week. But it's just a trick. I don't know why, but it's just a trick. And people will always start talking, especially people who aren't from here. It happened a lot at school. They were like, oh my gosh, fall weather's here. It's going to be so great. We're going to have cool weather from now on. It's just going to get colder from here on out. No, no, that is not how it works here. And I don't know if that's similar for all of the Midwest, but the state where I am from, it just literally likes to trick us. So what will happen is we've had this super nice weather. It is going to get burning hot again. It's like fake fall. Summer, fake fall. Summer again. Maybe another fake fall. Summer again, real fall. And it'll do this when the season is changing from winter to spring as well. It'll be freezing cold. We'll get some really nice warmer weather. And then we get like a whole freezing of ice and then it'll finally be spring. So yeah, the weather here loves to play tricks on us. I am never, ever like, yes, we are finally having good weather until, you know, it comes back sweltering hot. So after the next heat wave, we might stand a chance of it cooling off for good for the rest of the year, but I don't know. We will see. I will definitely keep you guys updated. I just find it funny because when I was at school, people would always get so excited when the weather started to change and I'd be like, you guys have to wait. You have to wait because it's going to get miserable again and then it'll switch over for real. So yeah, you guys will have to let me know if that is similar where you guys are from, if that's a whole Midwest thing, if it's just where I'm from. So yeah, I just find it so funny. It's just one of the unique things about living here and you know you can never get too comfortable that's what it that's what it proves to me but 
yes I am definitely ready for cooled off weather nothing sounds better to me right now Ugh, this has started making me think about my mom's baked potato soup <laughs> Yes, that is also another part that I love about the cozy weather is the food that my mom makes. She makes just incredible food. But anyways, as I was saying, I was up at my college, my old college, and it was so fun. It was such a great little break from reality to just kind of get to go back and see everybody and see everything. A lot of my friends are a year behind me so a lot of them will be graduating this year but yeah I don't know it was just it was sad and happy at the same time to be back it reminded me how much I miss being there and living with my roommates who also graduated and just seeing all of my friends all of the time and you know when you're in school you feel like you are on such a strict regimen and such a strict schedule but the truth is you're really not i since coming home and working my eight to five which preface these are the best hours i've ever had in my life work wise last summer for example i was working from 7 a.m until 6 p.m sometimes later and so and keep in mind i lived 30 minutes away from my job so i would have to get up at six at the latest not eat breakfast to be able to leave by 6 30 to get there by 7 and then at the end of the work day I was getting home at 6 30 sometimes later you're eating dinner and then it was a very physically demanding job so I would just pass out on the couch completely exhausted so this is the best job I've ever had this is the best hours I've ever had do not get me wrong <laughs> I just have realized how little time I have working an 8 to 5 because by the time I get home, if I want to work out, that's going to take me about an hour. Then I have to shower. Then I have to eat dinner. And then after all of that is done, I might have a little bit of time to do something like play Sims or read a book or something like that. But then I also have, maybe I have to clean. Maybe I have to do laundry. Maybe I have to water my 50 plus plants. Like there's just so little time in the day and you think when you're in school you're like wow there's so little time in the day it's not true <laughs> even when I was taking 18 credit hours I still feel like I had more time than I have now because there's also just a freedom to your schedule in the sense that you can kind of pick and choose when you want to study obviously you can't pick and choose when you want to go to your class like your class time is pretty set in stone and if you do any extracurriculars like sports or stuff like that but working full-time I've just realized that there is very little time in my day and also kind of coming to the realization that I'm not gonna have winter breaks anymore summer breaks weren't really a break because I worked a full-time job but I'm not really gonna have like winter breaks or you know holiday breaks anymore I might get a long weekend for holidays but that's about it so and obviously vacation time but that's a little different that's not just like chilling at home doing nothing that's going on a trip or going on a vacation and doing something so it's just very different and definitely something to adjust to and I probably sound so lazy <laughs> complaining about this but there's just so many things that I want to do with my time and with my day and it just makes it really hard when you're working an 8 to 5 and I always find that I have a lot of my creative ideas happening when I'm at work and so I get all of these like ideas to start flooding my head and I'm like I am literally at work I can't <laughs> I can't get distracted by this right now so yeah it just made me very reminiscent on how much I took college for granted I think and you know how ready I was to be done with college senioritis was real I was so ready to be done with school and just get out of there but the truth is now that it is over I really really miss it so yeah this weekend was definitely very bittersweet in the best way 
Uh, so you guys will have to let me know if you relate to that but we are getting to the end of this video so i hope you all enjoyed something a little bit different than my normal style and if you did please do not forget to leave a like comment and subscribe and i will see all of you lovely friends next time bye guys